Ahoy Leo, it's July 2021, I'm Didici. I'm going to uh, go through your horoscope this month. For those of you that haven't uh, had the opportunity to listen to uh, my brief readings each month, uh, welcome. And uh, we're looking now and we're going to animate your month of July here so we can get an idea of what's going on. Three important transits this month for the Sun, which is your ruling planet. First one is on the 15th of July. That's a nice triangular aspect, what we call a trine to uh, Neptune, um, let's have a look here, does that say the 15th, the Sun trine, 23, yeah, as it moves through this sign, it's going to be a lovely spiritual energy that you're going to experience coming from this 12th house Sun, the second one on the 18th is not so easy, it's this opposition to Pluto, which can make you rather compulsive about your spiritual practices, if you're into that, can also make you a compulsive spender or gambler because the 12th house has a lot to do with your spending. Uh, 23rd of July, the sun will move into your sun sign. That's going to be much better. The last week of the month is much better. I do want to draw your attention to uh, this combination of Venus and Mars, one of the sexiest combinations, I've got to say, Leo, and happening right now in your sun sign. Um, the only caveat there is this Saturn in the seventh house. You notice it at 11 degrees here. Really? Well, these two planets have passed that. So the tension you would have felt there, especially the very first day or two, dissipates very, very quickly. And so the relationships are back on track with this passionate combination. Have a look over here on the 10th. The new moon takes place in your 12th house. Again, referring back to what I said earlier about your expenses, your spiritual work, and um, actions of a charitable nature are often shown by that. Now, the new moon moving into your sun sign around the 12th makes contact with this passionate pair. Oh, I love alliteration. Um, triggering a more sexually orientated approach to your relationships. You may feel a resurgence of that physical dynamic once the moon touches that. There is a another aspect here I'd like you to look at as the moon moves over here. That's going to be the <clears throat> full moon. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, also keep your eye over here on the position of Jupiter. Jupiter is important because it rules the finances of your partner. It rules sexual matters. It rules Tantra or the deeper mystical and magical Arts. So if some of you are working on uh, that side of things, doing your tarot readings, that sort of thing, this retrograde Jupiter will really accentuate your intuitive powers throughout this month. Also keep your eye here on the, uh, why I was talking about this was because it's retrograde and <clears throat> right at the tail end of the month, it's going to move out of that eighth house back into the seventh house. So you want to use your intuitive powers to counteract all of this physical and sexual passion that's likely. We need a balance. We need a bit of uh, Libra here, this third house, which is your mind. We need a bit of the scales of justice to bring some equanimity to you. Have a look here, 23rd, 24th, your energy levels are going to be in for a big boost, Leo. That's because... Uh, Depending on the date you're born in Leo, we call this the solar return. So that's why they say many happy returns when it's your birthday. You do have a happy return because it's in your sun sign. The sun is very comfortable in the sign of Leo. Makes you a little bit hot-headed. You notice Venus moves out of your sun sign. Mars is retained there for a little while. This is on the 25th we're talking. And Venus, which is your career planet makes a dash for this second sector here in the sign of Virgo, which is really its weakest point. So there's a cautionary note here, especially I've missed the full moon. Trust me to do that. What have I got to do? That was on the 24th, just as the sun was moving into your sun sign. That full moon will activate a lot of your work and relationships. It's right here on the border. It'll be more your relationships. And the moon will have been in the company of Saturn, which can make you rather somber and a little bit concerned. 
As I said earlier, you see there right at the tail end of the month, Jupiter moving back into this same area, which means you can use the intuitive insights you've gained, if you took my advice, to smooth over some of these difficulties. I think your partner will also be going through a period of uh, reappraisal. I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying actually it's good because those things that have been hindering the relationship can be uh, earmarked for change and new strategies for Im improving things. You have what's called Buddha Aditya Yoga, the sun and Mercury when they're together. Buddha Aditya, the sun, the sun and Mercury, making you very, very clever. This also gives you some uh, good business opportunities. You're all fired up. Mars moves into this. I'm sort of going over time here. I'm taking a little bit into the, <laughs> into the future past at this time. But suffice to say, the, uh, the energies of Mars do ultimately move away from your sun sign, which can overheat the system. You have to use your intellect to ensure that you, you, know, you don't get ahead of yourself. And this financial expenditure side of things seems to be a focus for you throughout the month of July. Just tighten that belt. Communicate to your partner if they're the ones that are doing all the spending and, 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 and you're at the back end paying the bills out of your earnings. That has to be discussed. All in all, good month. I think you should go over to astrology.com.au. I've got the transcript of that and some other information on the chronological aspects that can add a little bit more meat to this particular reading that I've given you. Drop me a line if you've got some question and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you here next month. Take care. Bye-bye.